Now, I also spoke with Senator Young about 2024 in the race for Indiana's open Senate seat. We also spoke about Senator Young's recent trip overseas, making stops in Japan and also in Taiwan. What did you learn from your travels? Well, I, I learned that the Taiwanese continue to up their game militarily, working with the United States to acquire asymmetric weapons. I was encouraged about the the preparatory actions and then short of, of a military conflict, which we hope to uh, deter working with our partners and allies, there's going to be economic coercion in the uh, years and probably decades ahead coming from China towards uh, uh, Taiwan and other countries. And we need to link together our, our, our activities uh, to work together to, to counter those course of activities. And then I've worked here in, in uh, Congress to try and put together some legislation that will empower our president to uh, work with other countries on that front. Yeah, that, the CHIPS Act that you worked on was a bipartisan bill signed by President Biden in a time where bipartisanship is not always the name of the game in, in D.C. How do you see that dynamic evolving with Republicans holding the House now while Democrats still have the Senate? W will we see very many bipartisan bills get through this current Congress? And are, are there particular areas where you think that could happen? Well, as it relates to the U.S.-China competition, I, I see a great opportunity to continue to work on this front. Uh, implementing the Chips and Science Act will, of course, be very important as we deploy, you know, tens of billions of dollars to bring manufacturing back home and and uh, help uh, empower the American worker to ensure that we out innovate and out compete the Chinese uh, Communist Party while making our supply chains more resilient. Beyond that activity, though, uh, there there's some other things we need to focus on. There will be limitations proposed, I, I think, in, in short order to outbound investment in China. We want to make sure our investors have an opportunity to make certain investments uh, in China uh, as they do in the United States. But we don't want those investments to be in, in uh, highly secure technology areas that might give uh, the Chinese Communist Party military advantage uh, moving forward. So that's, that's another key area, but there will be other areas as it relates to that U.S.-China competition where we can find uh, common ground. Finally here, your, your Senate colleague, Mike Braun, running for governor, which means we'll have an open Senate seat. Jim Banks is running. Mitch Daniels may run as well. Are, are you planning to make an endorsement or stay neutral in, in the primaries? Yeah, I, I don't have an intention to get involved. I, I, I know both Jim Banks and, and uh, we've had some other names uh, floated around and, and uh, uh, very talented individuals who I think a lot of. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll let them uh, both compete for uh, the trust of voters. I expect any primary would be quite spirited as they often are. And uh, I know I'll have no difficulty uh, working constructively with uh, whomever might be elected. I suspect it'll be a Republican uh, uh, in the state of Indiana, and I'll work towards uh, that goal. All right, Senator Todd Young with us today. Senator, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Dan. This past week, Senator Young met with Mitch Daniels during the former governor's trip to D.C., his decision reportedly coming soon. Of course, Congressman Jim Banks already in the race this week had to clarify his stance on abortion, whether there should be further national restrictions. Representative Victoria Sparts also considering a run. She had some interesting comments this past week criticizing House Speaker Kevin McCarthy for removing a handful of Democrats from their committee assignments, saying she didn't like when Democrats did that to Republicans. She said, quote, two wrongs don't make a right.